I'd gone to the same school my whole life. And so coming into a new environment was a little scary for me. But Stone Ridge is so inclusive and everyone's really open and excited to meet you. And I think within your classes and within social action, you have a lot of different bonding experiences. I'm friends with almost everyone in my class and I think that's one of the great things about Stone Ridge. It was definitely easy to make friends because everyone in their freshman year was sort of in the same boat. Even if you were at Stone Ridge for middle school, you're still new to the school or you're new to the upper school. And they really help you ease into the transition of going from middle school to upper school. People just are always really welcoming. I've just noticed that people always will want to just say hi to you in the hallways or they'll just want to be your friend. On our 35 acre campus in Bethesda, Maryland, we welcome 740 students every morning to join us on campus for joyful learning. I love when my students discover how talented they are, discover a passion, or discover that they might be really good at something that they thought they weren't good at. I love when they figure out a problem, when something starts making sense and they can really see and understand what's happening. I'm always surprised by the creativity that our girls bring to everything that they do. They, um, they work so hard and they enter into every project wholeheartedly. I love the science program here. It really is broad and it covers many topics and it, you can really go in the area that you're interested in. For me, I'm interested in engineering, so I got to take engineering classes and physics classes. My favorite class at Stone Ridge would have to be AP Lang during your junior year. It's a lot of creative work. We get to do something called the American Authors Project, which uh, you get to study an author of your choice for the whole year. The teachers are here to support you. That is one big thing. If you're interested in anything, they are here to help you with that. If you want to learn more about something not covered in class, they will help you with that. They are here to support you and here to make you do your best. And that's another thing that I love about Stone Ridge. When I came to Stone Ridge in freshman year, I was very intimidated by the goals of the Sacred Heart and kind of living them out. But I think because of those goals, Stone Ridge has become a very inclusive environment. And so teachers and other students and faculty members are really there to help you understand and help you live out those goals. I love the goals, honestly. I think that they're a great base for this school and they really represent what our school tries to do, especially like goal three was social action. We are a social action powerhouse. At Stonehenge, we have a really strong community and it's really evident in like everything that we do. It is so amazing just to see everyone come together for spirit events, especially like the game days where every team has a game. Um, everyone comes out and the parent association gets together everything and it's just amazing, really. We go together, together we go far and wide. We go together, we're walking on the sunny side, it's true.
Greetings, Stone Ridge community. It's my great honor to welcome you this evening to join us in Cooking from the Heart with Jose Andres. I'm coming to you from our Stone Ridge kitchen. Many of you have been in here before. As you may remember, this kitchen was designed in the early 1800s to serve the Hamilton family and their guests. Yet every day of our school year, when we're not in COVID mode and hybrid, our SAGE staff cooks more than 900 meals a day in this small kitchen. I can't tell you how excited we are to bring online our new dining space in the Student Life Center, which will include a full kitchen with a servery, as well as a dining facility for our students. The dining service will also, or the dining space will also provide for all school event space, such as our all school liturgies, and will hold up to a thousand people when we want to gather as a community. It's with great joy that I also get to announce tonight that the Student Life Center has been named. The family that made the lead gift on the Student Life Center has chosen the name, the Mater Center after Mater Admirabilis, our beloved image of Mary in the Sacred Heart tradition. So we're so excited to announce the Mater Center to our community tonight. Well, enough from me. I'm so excited to introduce our guest of the evening, Jose Andres. I think Jose goes without introduction, but you all know that he is a world-renowned chef. He is the founder of World Central Kitchen, and around Stone Ridge, we also know him as a Stone Ridge dad, the father of Carlota and Inez, who are both graduates, and current student Lucia. Let's turn it over to Jose. Have a great night. Hello, everybody at uh, Stone Ridge, cooking from the heart, cocinando desde el corazón. I am Jose Andres, and as you can see, uh, I am alone. Actually, my wife is behind the camera. Hi, Patricia. And I don't know, my daughters, uh, they are going to university. So I am in this kind of moment in my life when I have plenty of food and I don't have people to cook for. So I, I, I'm, I'm thrilled that you invite me to spend some time with you today. You're not gonna be learning anything tonight, just to be clear. Uh, if you are expecting to learn any recipe, forget about it, just move to something else. But this is what you will find in, in, the, in the house of a chef. Uh, this is how we eat very normal things, as you can see, obviously uh, a live um, uh, um, Rodaballo, we, we call it in Spanish turbo, a striped bass from Delaware, our new elected president, Surgeon from Maine, scallops from Massachusetts, oysters from the Chesapeake Bay, uh, Surgeon that is already clean. And I'm gonna be making a few things for you, for you to understand how the Andres family eats every single day of the week. Okay, I'm making fun of myself, okay? We eat very humbly here, lentil, chickpeas. But when I'm at home, I love to cook those things. I'm gonna show you something like this, unbelievable. Do you see this? This is striped bass, this is two pounds and a half. And what we're gonna do right now is take this plastic out. This tells you that it's been super fresh. And take a look, this striped bass is whole. This is what fish looks like when it's whole. <laughs> because here sometimes we only find the fish cut in pieces. Poor fish, he's done nothing to us. Leave the fish whole and you'll see your life will be easier. This recipe everybody should do at home. Salt in the bottom. This salt is already wet. Okay, you make yourself a dry martini. More or less is the, uh, of a dry martini glass, the size, and you put some water until the salt is wet. And that's it. And in this moment, you do the bed. In this moment, you put the fish to sleep. Make sure that the uh, upper, the spine is looking to your right. It's gonna be easier if you are right hand, if you are left hand, do it the other way. So this is very easy. If you are a Democrat, do it one way. If you are a Republican, do it the other, fine. Sometimes you can put inside bay leaves. Me, I don't put anything. And take a look, this is very important. You cover it with the salt. You make sure that the fish is gonna be Perfectly covered with the salt. Actually, I put too much salt underneath, and I'm gonna run out of salt, but that's okay. This is more or less three 
kilos of salt, which equals six pounds. Yes, I know you're gonna say, oh my God, don't worry people. In this moment, my friends, this is what's gonna happen. You wash your hands because you don't wanna fill the kitchen with salt and you come to the kitchen. You see, this is a cross. In this moment, going in the oven, 450 degrees, 27 minutes. We put it and you forget about it. One timer, 27, enter, enter, 450, usually it's 350, but because I wanted to make sure that we make it on time, this is perfect. And now, this is what you do. You come over here, you have some ice, you have a cocktail shaker, some mezcal, how much, I don't know, one ounce, maybe two ounces. Yeah, I was not very good in mathematics, don't worry. Uh, I left the school obviously at 14, you can see why. And then, this is very good, and I cannot open it because my hands are wet. That's great, live TV, great. And this is vermouth from Spain, we love to drink this. And I put also one or one and a half teaspoon, if you are not sure, make sure you're never sure. You put it, you shake it. I love this music, you see? And now let's see if I can open it. Oh yeah. In this moment, my friends, I have another glass with some ice. I put it over the ice. It's great because the red vermouth gives the right. It's great because the red vermouth gives the sweetness. I put one lemon peel. If you like two, you put two. One is enough. My dear friends, it's not rich. This is the situation. I have the drink. The fish is already in the oven. The fish is so happy because he feels warm. He's cooking it slowly. And this is what we're gonna do. In this moment, you know what this needs? A little bit? A little bit of lemon. Yes. Why? Because a little bit acidity is gonna be perfect. Mm. And in this moment, you put music. This, I found it the other day. It's an interpretation of Vivaldi. I love it. Amazing from the four seasons. It's unbelievable. This, when I, I cut him, it's like I'm a musician of food. And I love this music. I mean, it really gets into you. When I'm alone in the kitchen, that's what I do. I cook, I drink, and I put music. And this is what you do. I have a pitaya. What is a pitaya? They call it dragon fruit. Take a look how beautiful it is. Oh, yes, yes, I love pitaya. This is one of my favorite fruits, full of little seeds that actually are crunchy in between your teeth. And they peel very easily, and everybody's gonna love this. No easy to find, but you can order anything online these days. And you keep cooking, listening to the music. And you cut smaller pieces, like this. Like, almost like you are a musician. And you dream. I'm a terrible musician. I don't have an ear for music. But sometimes when I'm alone, I dream that I am one. And you put these pieces on the plate, like this. And in this moment, I play violin. I play cello, and I bring a piece of this ham. This is Iberico ham. Iberico ham is probably the best ham in the history of mankind. It's acorns every September to December. And in January, in January, well, the pigs go to a better life. They are cured in salt, then air dry for three years, and then they make it into America. This is probably the best pig in the world. One day, my young daughter, uh, oldest daughter now, Carlota, tell me, Daddy, we, we don't have, actually, we don't have a pet, but this counts as a pet? Well, it's the closest thing in my house. All right. And we keep putting slices of ham and slices of the pitaya. If you don't have pitaya, you can do this with avocado. If you don't have avocado, you can do this with peaches. You don't have peaches, 
Well, you can do this one. Maybe <coughs> with apples. Actually, you cannot eat ham because whatever reason, you could do the same with the smoked salmon. Simple. In this moment, some salt, some olive oil. Not much salt because obviously the ham has enough salt on its own. And as you see, the music keeps playing. This is from one of my favorite singers. What's the name of the singer? The voice of God is gonna be speaking. Kate Bush. Kate Bush. And this is on the soundtrack of Housemaid Tales. I think it's episode 10 of the fourth season, one of the best moments ever on TV. In these moments, my friend, we finish one cocktail and one tapa. And from here, you follow me. We have some oysters. And these oysters, this is what we are gonna do. We get some flour. And we're gonna get these oysters that you can buy in the market or ready shack. These ones are burginicas from the Chesapeake Bay. And they come in their own brine, their own use. One, two, three, four, five. Never throw this water. This water is gold for making any soup. Now you put some salt. Like this. And in this moment, you have oil that is already hot. And at the rhythm of the music, you keep cooking. And well, frankly, imagine I have here my daughters and my wife. Well, my wife is with me only, that you cannot see her. And in this moment, you put one oyster, two oysters, three oysters. Don't tell me you don't feel you can do this. Well, feel because you can do this. I know you're gonna be asking me, Jose, what is the paella? Hey, I'm tired of paella. I've been 35 years feeling paella from America. I'm hoping you're enjoying the paella, but today I'm doing something different to share with you something different. Life is way too short. And in this moment, we had the oysters frying, and as they are frying, you're gonna follow me because we're gonna come to make the sauce. In this moment, we have here some ketchup and some mayo. And everybody in the refrigerator has things they don't know what to do with them. I use this moment to use those things I don't know. This is from Rasta, an amazing Indian fast food concept that they have this spicy sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit. I don't like a lot of spice. I like a little bit of spice. And in this moment, I'm gonna use the spoon of making the cocktail and look at it. I mix the sauce and actually, because I have some of this tequila, actually it's metal from Oaxaca. Ah, oh my God, I put too much, sorry. Recipes are not to be followed. Recipes are to be adapted. And look at it, I have this amazing sauce. In this moment, this sauce comes right here in the middle of the plate. And now, we go to see the oysters. And you see the oysters are already nice and golden, nice and fried. And in this moment, you put them, one, two. Remember, we already sold them, but that's okay. We can probably sold them again. It's never too much. Remember to stop the fire or keep frying oysters. That you like is spicy. You can come and get some of this paprika, spicy pimenton. Hey, hello. I love this song. You have to. You have to cook with this song, okay, Bush. Unbelievable. Come, come, follow, follow. And then, in this moment, you put one oyster around the sauce. Another, 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 another. And we got already two tapas and a cocktail. Let's keep going, my friends. And in this moment, this is what you're gonna do. We have urchin, but more important, we have limes, or we have lemons. I prefer limes. In this moment, you come and you cut the bottom of the lime and the bottom of the lime, the tips, and you cut every lime in the middle. If there are smaller limes, even better. In this moment, you go and you cut two more, two more. And because I don't know how many people are gonna be coming, let's see what is the next music is playing. Oh, I love sometimes used to put any music and sometimes listen about new 
musicians and songs I never met before. And now the limes are there. Everybody can do this. You can buy sea urchin. Obviously, you can open a sea urchin from the middle. Remember that the sea urchin are the gonads what you eat. And every year between December, November, December, January is my favorite. Oh, this one was very empty. This is another one. Oh my God. And that's where the sea urchin are. And this orange here are the gonads. What is the easiest thing? The easiest thing is this. When you buy them already clean, more expensive, but worth every time. And in this moment, what you do at the rhythm of the music, you come and you start putting uni on top of the lime. And you make sure you put enough. Don't be cheap. Never be cheap with the urchin. And what is going to happen right now? That what you're doing is that the lime in this moment is becoming the plate, is becoming the way to eat it. And what you're going to tell people in the process of bringing it, I think I, I, I did too, 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 little, too many limes and too much urchin on each one. That's fine. Hey, come back here, baby. Don't go, baby. Come back. Ah, oh, he's leaving. Why? Don't. Great, and I think we have enough for one more. And in this moment, you see one of these trays is probably for three lemons, six halves. And what you do now is some of my favorite things ever. I put a little bit of this soy that actually is a yuzu sauce that is a mix of soy with this amazing citrus from Japan. And you come and you put like almost you are giving it a kiss, a little bit on the top. The soy, the saltiness, the sweetness of the urchin, the amazing lime. And because I love salt, I put a little bit more. Little bit more. In this moment, my friends, we already got this amazing sea urchin with limes finished. I always love to put microgreens or something that shows that you care for the people you're cooking for. And you come and you bring it and already we got the pitaya with the ham, the oysters with the sauce, magic sauce like my mother would make for me, and the sea urchin with the limes. The fish is cooking. Still, we have 15 minutes away. And in this moment, when you feel people are coming but you have everything under control, you say, what else I can do today, Jose? This is one of my favorite things. Those are scallops from Massachusetts. Usually I buy them when they are live, but right now, I'm gonna show you what to do when you find these fresh scallops. They are usually dry. You need to ask for dry scallops. That means that they come out of the shell without any liquid. And in this moment, you go and you can cut them in thick pieces, or if you like thinner, you can always cut them smaller. And in this moment, you go and you put them in the plate. If you feel it's too thick, you cut them in three. And then this is the secret. I like them raw. You like them cooked, you can always get a pan, like what I'm about to do now, and you can put some in one side, as I'm about to show you. This way, you can always make everybody happy. So I'm gonna show you how to do this for the people that like it raw and the people that like it cook. And in this moment, we get the pan, a touch of oil. And what I will do with these scallops, with these scallops, we will do this. We'll get some of this fruit that right now is a little bit dry, but this is a passion fruit. Why passion? Because I know with the Sun Rich community, we all have a lot of passion. And this is what you find. This has a lot of vitamin C and it's probably one of my favorite fruits in the whole world. And I got all of these from Christmas this year because we spent Christmas here at home in Bethesda. We got a lot of tropical fruit that my family, daughters and wife love. And take a look what I do. I get, with the help of the spoon, this was a fork, I go and I take the seeds and the juice out. You see? Great. 
the seeds and the juice out. These ones are on the dry side, but it's good because probably the flavor is gonna be even more concentrated. Usually when you cut this, it's very, very juicy. And this is okay because right now what you're gonna see is that this is probably gonna become one of your favorite fruits. You can make passion fruit with yogurt, you can make lemonade with passion fruit, you can make whatever you want. And in this moment, you're gonna get a little strainer like this, colander like this, and that's what we're gonna do. Because we're gonna reuse this with the soy, we're gonna put it through here, and because I told you that this is very dry, but right now we are in the business of making sure that we use everything, we're gonna be passing everything through here until we have some of the very deep puree. Okay, you know what is happening? You see, I am a professional chef, right? But I'm not perfect, and also I make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, but it's okay. Then you can see that if I'm telling you to do one thing, uh, and you don't have an answer, the recipe will go down. So what's happening is that this is so dry that I don't have enough use to really go through this. So what I'm doing is, already it's mixed, the seeds are there, this is already like a very nice puree. In the worst scenario, I was able to get a very good puree. I'm gonna get some of the olive oil. I'm gonna put it right here, as I'm doing right now. I'm actually gonna get one of the lemons to add a little bit more of juice because I need some juice to make sure that we cover the scallops on. You see, I'm problem solved. Now is the juice I need. Now I have a nice vinaigrette. Now if you buy one day passion fruit that is dry, now you know what to do. You even can put some water, but even better, some lemon. Careful because it's gonna be very sour. And because I like this, I'm gonna put a little bit of soy again. In this moment, I have the pan that is very hot. I'm gonna bring it down, the scallops, and take a look what you do. One, two, three, and why not? I'm gonna do four and five. When I do them hot, I cut them thicker. And I'm not gonna touch them. I'm not gonna touch them. I'm not gonna touch them. Why? Because in this moment, you wanna make sure that they only cook in one side. In this moment, you put some salt. And now, wait and see. I'm gonna make salt here. And I know, my friends, that this has been an amazing, strange, complicated, special, full of moments that we never know what or when when we don't have the answers to everything, but uh, if something we should be appreciating is that at the end of the day, we are a community that even we've been keeping distance one from each other. My wife and I, we know we're very thankful that the Stone Ridge has given our daughters an amazing education. And while we don't know many of you, um, um, because we are a very big family, uh, I think we are very proud to be part of this Stone Ridge family and that now we call so many uh, of you that over the years welcome us with open arms as we are welcoming new families that keep joining all of us uh, and we realize that we are stronger together and that if we go through life respecting each other, working together, understanding that we may be disagreeing about things from politics to religion, but that at the end of the day, what is important is that everybody respects each other, that everybody is truthful with each other, that everybody is able to live a rich life surrounded by your friends and obviously your family. This is what we can be celebrating more than ever this year. Myself, my family, this kitchen you see is the place we call home because the kitchen is the heart of our home. I don't think it's anything more powerful than feeding others, uh, family, especially friends. And I think that these scallops hot and raw with passion fruit, like it was a cold and warm ceviche, is done. Another amazing recipe, the cocktail, the sea urchin with the limes, the pitaya with the ham, the oysters with the special sauce inspiring my mother, the scallops from Massachusetts. And let's come over here, and we still have 
eight minutes left? Oh my God, we can be cooking even more recipes. I think this is the moment that I wanna remind everybody of Matthew 25. I was hungry and you gave me some food. I was thirsty and you gave me some water. I think as a cook that cook for the few, but also wants to cook for the many, we see that food is what can bring our communities together more than ever before. Uh, I think I believe, and I think you believe, like me, in longer tables, not higher walls. If we make sure that what is good for us and our families is good for others, the world will be a better place. This year I've been in nine countries, Guatemala and Honduras and Colombia and Lebanon and Spain, uh, with my NGO, World Central Kitchen, providing relief in very complicated moments, almost 40 million meals. Uh, I know many of you do a lot of good things in the community while supporting different types of NGOs, while donating your time. I know our children, they've been volunteering through this amazing Stone Ridge community and nothing gave me more joy than to see my daughter is being involved in community service because we should believe really that Charity actually should not be about the redemption of the giver, but the liberation of the receiver. If we are able to invest in the betterment of lives of others, we know that our communities will always be better and stronger. And that's why I'm so proud to be part of the community we are. And that's why I'm so proud that all together we are helping raise money to build a new kitchen in a school that is gonna help us provide even better quality meals for our daughters. Every single school in America should be having a kitchen. Many kitchens today in public schools in America, they don't even have a kitchen where you can boil water. How can we create a future for our children when the foods they are eating are barely foods that we can call food? We can create so many jobs if every rural school around America can employ local people. We can be buying from local farmers and helping rural America to be stronger instead of being poorer. We can make sure that those schools sometimes after hurricanes, uh, earthquakes, fires, they become places where when there are shelters, we can be feeding the community out of every one of those schools. Sometimes that doesn't happen, believe me, I know, because the kitchen in the school doesn't even function. So it's so great that you are all raising money to build a school kitchen. And if you can, double down on your commitment. Why? Because it's important. I think Briyat Savaran, uh, 1826, a philosopher said, uh, tell me what you eat and I'll tell you who you are. <laughs> Now you see a little bit who I am. But more important, he said, the future of the nations will depend on how they feed themselves. I am so happy that Stone Ridge is really taking the time uh, to raise money to build this kitchen that in more ways than one, than, than one is gonna feed more than uh, the bodies of our daughters is gonna be feeding the spirit and the soul of our daughters. Remember, Jesus cooked breakfast for the apostles. And Jesus, I was, I'm so proud to be a follower of his because he fed the many multiplying breads and fishes. A kitchen is more than just a place to feed. A kitchen is a place to give hope, one meal at a time. All right, I mean, I keep talking because I'm waiting for the fish to go because I could make more dishes, but I don't want you to go nutty. I want you to remember these ones we made. And we have four minutes left. And in four minutes, I think I have time to do this. We're gonna come, we're gonna be bringing some of these radishes I have here. And you're gonna say, what are you doing? You'll say, this is what I'm doing. Another pan, even I promise my wife, I will not be cooking more than necessary. We're gonna be putting some more oil. Who told me that I had to be doing a cooking class for 30 minutes live without cuts? With the stone rich, I put the oil here and I'm gonna find some garlic, 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 no garlic. My wife is running in the background. You don't wanna see it. Oh, you saw her. She's there in the back. 
Yes, you can clap, but Frisha is special. Running, yes, she show up. I made, I made it on purpose, a brief thing, but you know, the star, the stars, they only show up sometimes, and she's the star. Um, they say behind uh, every man is a highly surprised woman. <laughs> yeah, my wife is highly surprised um, <laughs> with me every day. Uh, I love you. And this is what we do. I got some garlic. I'm gonna smash it like this. Take a look. Ah, this is great. Uh, if you like, you can do two. Are you with me? Now I'm not even gonna peel it. You put the knife, don't cut yourself, boom. When you don't peel it, it's great because you get the flavor without burning anything. And we're gonna wait here because the fish is about to come out. This is gonna go here. Where are we gonna clean the fish? I think I'm gonna clean the fish here. And you see how clean I am? If my wife ever says that I am not the cleanest chef in the history of mankind, it's fake news, people. Fake news. So, um, this goes over here. The, the fish is about to be ready. The issue is that I put 27 minutes. I hope it's enough. Uh, if it's not enough, it's gonna be raw. If it's raw, it means it's steady. But usually it's two pounds and a half. Red snapper, striped bass. Without touching the fish, only the insides out, but you leave the scales, you tell your fishmonger. Red snapper or a striped bass, two pounds and a half, 27 minutes at 400 degrees. Three pounds, 30 minutes. Two pounds and a half, 27 minutes. Three pounds, 30 minutes. Is that clear? If not, text me. <laughs> okay, so the garlic is here, it's almost there. Now, what is this? When you go to the market and you see these little creatures that they charge you a fortune and you don't know what they are, this one is out of sunflowers. Buy them, support your local farmers, people. What are you waiting for? I'm gonna put them here. And look at, look at, you see, can you hear? They are happy. What you hear here is happiness. One, two, three, four. A little bit of salt. Oh, I need a plate, Tichi. I need a plate. Little bit more. It's great to have your wife in the background providing you aid in times of need. And in this moment, I'm bringing the black pepper, which I love. Where is my black pepper? Here. One, two, three. Throw the plate. Ah, my teeth. In this moment, people of America, we go these amazing. You don't want to overcook them. Oh, and here you have, this is the perfect garnish. You could do the same with cabbage. If you go and you slice the cabbage very thin. You can do the same with any vegetable. Use the garlic, the oil, some salt. Out, quick, fast. Now follow me. When you hear 27 minutes, 450 degrees, the fish will be ready, maybe, should be. Oh, oh. And this is the moment that my wife, DJ, is gonna put music because I think it's about time we put some music. And in this moment, choose whatever you want, lady. In this moment of truth, this is what we're gonna do. Because we don't have much time because they're gonna cut me off. This moment, take a look, people. You hit it. And you're gonna see the salt comes up. This is done live. You see? Boom. You see? It's okay. You do this on the sides, leave it. And then look at it. Everything comes up. Why? Because the salt, remember, some water, that's it. That's it. And then you cover with the salt. And you make sure you take all the salt out. Not too much water. And in this moment, I'm gonna get the fork. Bring it down. My wife has a very strange uh, appetite for music. I don't know what this is. Well, who is this? I didn't choose this music, please email her. So people, you come and this is what you do. It's very easy. The skin is gonna come up alone because the scales is gonna help you. You see, the skin comes alone. You don't need to take more than what you, take a look how juicy this is. Then you cut in the middle with the help of the knife, of the, of the fork. And in this moment, you put a little bit the fork underneath. And take a look, is this ready? Oh yes, take a look at this. Maybe even it requires five more minutes, but 
I don't, I think this is bigger than two and a half, but take a look how you see this is. Obviously this is the tail, which is the part that is uh, thinner, but the good thing about the striped bass is that it's very long and cooks fairly equally. And here you put, obviously, all the fish on top of the plate. It's gonna be the healthiest way you will ever cook fish. You can have the fish in less than 30 minutes. You only need to get the spirits clean in it. Don't take the rest of the skin in case you undercook it. But it's always perfect. Two pounds and a half, 27 minutes, 450. And in this moment, take a look. I have the fish here. Come with me. I have the olive oil. I don't even need to put salt, even sometimes you're gonna need to. And I put it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, a little bit salt. I am Jose Andres. My wife is behind the camera. This is the apron. I forgot to sign it myself. I hope you got yours. I want to thank everybody that made this possible. I want to thank, obviously, the Trons family for providing the wine. Thank you. Uh, I didn't have the wine here because I drank it before. I forgot that was to have it. And the wine was delicious. And Stone Ridge family. And let's have an amazing 2021. Let's all believe in longer tables. Let's all come together. Let's move our communities forward, our stone rich community forward, this amazing kitchen possible, and more important, let's keep moving America together forward. I am Jose Andres, and I endorse this message. Boom. Soy lo mejor en los dos, eh? Wow. Hi dad, we just want to say thank you so much for supporting Stone Ridge and the new Student Life Center. You really lead by example every day and you show us how to be confident, passionate women, always leading with kindness and empathy. We're really grateful that you're supporting Stone Ridge. It's a place that has taught the three of us so much and has really shaped us into the woman we are today. We will always cherish the friendships we've made and the memories we've made at Stone Ridge. And I'm so excited to be able to be a part of this new Student Life Center, where I'll be making many more memories alongside my Stone Ridge sisters. We, we love, love you so much, Dad, and we hope you all enjoy this event. Hi, everyone. It's Katie Lebecki checking in from California. I hope you all are doing well and having a healthy and safe start to 2021. I don't know about you, but I have had so much fun tonight learning from Jose and his family. So I want to give a big thank you to Jose for this wonderful meal and all of the tips and tricks you gave us tonight. I've been really inspired to up my game in the kitchen, so thank you. And it is great to be with all of you tonight for this night of paella and fundraising in this next stage of Stone Ridge's Campus Enhancement Project. As an honorary chair of this campaign, I am really excited to be here and really excited about this project. I think this project is going to really enhance Stone Ridge's campus facilities and really solidify Stone Ridge's legacy as a Sacred Heart School, educating the women leaders of tomorrow. The Monterre Center specifically is going to be such a wonderful place for the entire Stone Ridge community to gather, to have fun, and for students to nourish their bodies and their creative minds and their spirits and it's just going to be a great place to hang out and have fun. So I am really excited to visit the Monterre Center sometime in the near future and hopefully be with all of you to celebrate. And I want to thank you for your support of the Core Unum campaign. And I really hope that I see all of you sometime soon. So thank you again. Go Gators, go Gold Team. And I hope you all have a really great night. Thank you. Hi, I'm Melissa Prather, Director of Advancement for Stone Ridge. Welcome to the Mater Center. I am so excited to show you our LEED Silver Building. Come on in. As you enter into the Mater Center, you'll walk through a vestibule to the reception area here. Then we'll turn left right here into the cafe.
Along that back wall, we will have a small coffee bar with healthy treats. This area will include cafe style tables with small seating areas and countertops for students, faculty, and staff, as well as parents and visitors. During the lunch hours, this cafe will be reserved as a dedicated dining hall for our faculty and staff. As we walk down the main hallway to the right will be a large bag and coat room for our students to store all of their belongings during the time that they're in the Mater Center. Here's the dining hall where community, hospitality, and healthy living will be embraced and fostered. At the heart of all Sacred Heart schools is an inclusive community that nourishes bonds and relationships while developing the heart, mind, and soul of our students. This begins at the communal table. This space will seat approximately 400 students per seating. We're planning to have multiple lunch periods to accommodate all of our students. This space will also house all of our masses. This hall in the Mater Center will provide our community with an opportunity to hold all school masses in order to deepen our relationship with God and strengthen our bonds as a community of faith. Rooted in our Catholic tradition, prayer life and celebrating the liturgy of the Word and the Eucharist are foundational to educating the whole child at Stone Ridge. We will seat over a thousand people for Mass, which allows us to invite parents, alumni, and friends to join us. Now, as we head into the heart of the Mater Center, the kitchen and the servery. This is one of two entryways, which will be closed off during Mass and special events. The servery will include two hotlines, one for lower school students and one for middle and upper school girls. There will also be a grab-and-go area for, with pre-made items. Behind us here, there will be a beverage station. The kitchen and servery are connected, which allows for ease and efficiency. As we walk through this back space, this part of the commercial kitchen includes the stoves and prep area. As you can see, this hood is about 100 times bigger than your kitchen's hood. As we proceed down the kitchen, you will see this 300 square foot refrigerator and freezer, which will store all of our fresh food that will be prepared for our students and faculty and staff. This to our right is the dishwashing station, which will include a U-shaped tray system to collect the dishes in an efficient manner. This station enhances our LEED Silver certification, reducing waste by using reusable wares. As we proceed down the hallway, you'll see that we're headed to the back of the house for the theater. Our arts program has been evolving over the years, and never before has Stone Ridge offered arts programming with the scope and caliber that they've offered today. As you'll see here to our left is our scene shop, which will house a tool room, a paint room, and an office for our drama faculty. You'll see the height of the ceilings are quite large, which will allow us to roll the scenery directly from the scene shop straight onto the stage. Here we're in the green room, which right now looks like the prop room for our construction site. In the green room will include dressing rooms for our girls as well as restrooms for our performers. We are really excited to have a dedicated space for our performers. Here we stand on the center of our proscenium stage, looking out to our 420 seat theater. The orchestra pit will be right here under the plywood. The theater will also feature seating boxes on along the main floor as well as a second floor mezzanine. We are really looking forward to our many performances here, as well as our interactive forums and guest speakers for our students, as well as members of our community. As you see, the south-facing windows will provide great light when the theater is being used for those presentations, community gatherings, and classroom use. On the second floor, the control booth will include soundboards and equipment needed for our students to manage all productions and performances. It will be a great opportunity for our girls to learn behind the scenes. As we proceed down the hallway to our orchestra room, this beautifully lit room will house our orchestra program. Along the perimeter of the room, we will be installing instrument lockers and storage spaces. Here are our dedicated practice rooms for students to reserve. We proceed down the hall to the band room, which overlooks Gator Field. 
This space will also include the locker system and two dedicated practice rooms. This is the first time we've had a chorus room. Our students' voices are so beautiful and now they have their own space to work on developing strong vocal technique and record their own music. Now we proceed through the visual arts corridor. As we look here to the left will be our dark room with a large, beautiful rotating door to keep all of the light out. Here is our spacious photography lab, allowing for access to the dark room for traditional foundational training in photography. This beautiful space will house our upper school 2D arts program, the core of our visual arts curriculum. Foundations of Art for our first year high school students offers sketching, painting, and drawing instruction in a variety of mediums. This will be a fantastic space for their learning. Finally, we land in our 3D arts room, a very popular course at Stonebridge. Through visual art, which vocal offers and instrumental music in ceramics, drama and dance, woodworking and other media celebrates as you can kind of see through this plastic and connects wrap, our students this to space history, overlooks diverse both cultures gator field and their own imagination. as well as campus. The Montier Center as we walk allows out students to, the to express hallways, themselves. We will have various small ways seating areas while helping like us this to one develop here, the whole child. along the wall and little nooks where students can gather and hang out. This cozy space will serve as a smaller stage for our youngest learners and performers. This large reception area will also feature a gallery for our student works, as well as seating spaces along the windows. Now, let's head back down to the first floor. We conclude our tour here in the reception area of the theater. This will be a beautiful space featuring small seating areas along the window and a gallery wall featuring all of our student artworks against the theater. We are looking forward to opening the Mater Center in August of 2021. We can't wait to see you then. I hope you have a terrific evening tonight and enjoy. I wanted to thank my co-chair, Jose Andres. Are you not loving this delicious meal that he's prepared? to celebrate an extraordinary moment in the history of this School of Christ Heart that we all love, Stone Ridge. I have just had a tour. Everybody, I can't wait for you to see this place. When we first talked about it, we talked about Cor Unum, about bringing together the community of Stone Ridge, about awakening in the girls a sense of community that is born when you get to share meals and you get to relax together. But we also talked about awakening in them a sensitivity to beauty, to mystery, to open up their hearts and to open up their minds. It's hard for me to describe to you what I think is gonna be more amazing and fun. All of the places for music, all the places for art, all the places for drama, these are the ways to awaken in the girls a sense of creativity, a sense of who they are in relation to God. I have such confidence in the future of Stone Ridge. And as a religious of the Sacred Heart, and as one of the co-chairs of this whole thing, I am so excited for this generation and for the generations to come of students of the Sacred Heart who will go forth from here with an extraordinary education of their minds and of their hearts. So continue to enjoy this wonderful meal and be sure to look forward to how all of this is going to manifest itself in the coming months as more and more finishes are accomplished in these beautiful spaces. Thank you. Thank you, Suzanne, and thank you, Jose, for your spectacular stories and delighting us with that delicious meal. Robert and I are thrilled to be here this evening with all of you. As chairs of the Core Rune and One Heart campaign, we are excited to share the progress of the Mater Center with all of you this evening. The Mater Center will be such an important addition to our campus when it opens later this fall. As chairs of the Corun campaign, we have been inspired what it will do for the girls and for the generosity of our community. We are also very excited to share with you the news that we have raised over $21 million towards the building fund goal of $22.5 million. And I'd like to invite you to be part of this moment for Stone Ridge. If you've not already made a gift, or if you have and like to make a second gift, tonight is the night. 
Together, we will make the Monterre Center and the Campus Quad a reality for the girls. Join us to be part of this opportunity to give back to our community. We are thrilled to introduce to you a very generous couple, Betsy Hoy Shivrick, class of 78, and her husband, Paul. They have been generous leaders in the campaign and have an exciting announcement to share with all of you. Betsy and I are sitting here in our home in Palm Beach, Florida this evening. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. I'm Betsy Hoy Shivrick, class of 1978, and um, we have donated to the campaign for Stone Ridge. We gave uh, the quad, which is now named Shelter Hill. We are thrilled that the girls are already enjoying it. And we couldn't have thought of a better way to um, give back to Stone Ridge, which uh, was such an important place for me. Um, and tonight we'd like to announce that uh, Paul and I will be matching any gift that's made so we hope you are as excited about this project as we are. Please, please, please donate. Get out your checkbooks and your credit cards and um, have a wonderful evening. We're so thrilled and uh, thank you for, for donating. Good evening, Stone Ridge community, and welcome. Thank you so much, Jose, for all that you're doing. Jose, your work we are so grateful for. Not just does it impact the larger community, but it impacts us here, the Stone Ridge yeah. community. A very special place for Jose because, as you know, his daughters have attended this school and one is currently attending. We thank you so much for all you do. You really are making a difference. I'm Maureen Ume, co-anchor of Fox 5 Morning News. I'm also a proud SR mom. And I am an alumna of Sacred Heart Schools. I went to the sister school in Chicago mm -hmm. and uh, I'm very proud to be here, very honored. Joining me is uh, my friend and fellow SR dad, Doug Hammer. Hello everybody, I'm uh, Storm Team 4 Chief Meteorologist <laughs> Doug Cameron. I'm the guy that hopefully you just saw talk about the snow <laughs> that we got coming up on Sunday and Monday. I, I really am thinking we're gonna get about six maybe as much as 10 inches if we watch that rain snow line so that's something and i to, did ask him about. what we can expect because i know the kiddos yeah. are waiting for that right oh they are so <laughs> I mean, we might not have school on monday just to let everybody know all right uh i would also like to express my gratitude to jose and of course his family mm -hmm. and also katie ledecky for doing mm -hmm. that for us i didn't realize however she's gold team listen bold gold right Go gold. I blew all the way, baby. Blew all the way. Uh, A little friendly rivalry, but we go bold gold gets it done. We know. <laughs> Maureen and I are actually here in the uh, kitchen at the Hamilton house in hopes that together we can, we're actually in the cooking area. Mm -hmm. And for those who haven't been in this kitchen, uh, let me describe a little bit about what we have. We're, we're doing this together to raise money to fund the new commercial kitchen yeah. that is going to be in the new Monterre Center. And it's hard to believe the Sage staff prepared before COVID over 900 meals right here yeah. every single day it's simply amazing for the faculty staff and the students marina and i actually standing in the yeah. uh, entire stovetop area and let me describe what else is here let me go around <laughs> the kitchen real fast there's a small room over here <laughs> And this room right here. Right. I mean, that's really that's about it. it. And then the dishwashing area right over there, which got to tell you, uh, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah, they've worked miracles out of this tiny kitchen. Uh, but For no sure. more. We're going to raise a lot of money tonight to make sure that our girls uh, get the facilities they need. And more importantly, that the cooks and the chefs get what they need. Right. Uh, we really are indebted to all they do for this community. Uh, we really want to also recognize uh, some very special people. Unfortunately, we did lose a member of our Stone Ridge mm -hmm. community to COVID last year. Some of you may have known her, Carol McKenzie. She worked uh, here for over 19 years in uh, the kitchen and our lunchrooms. Uh, if you know who she is, you know she was a very special woman, always had a smile on her face. And it was devastating to hear that she was actually one of the first victims of COVID that we heard about when this pandemic first hit. So uh, we just want to recognize her this evening and also recognize again all of the uh, people who make this happen every day, working miracles out of this kitchen. Yeah, and I know they're excited to get to, uh, to, to the new <laughs> server as well. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, we are not wearing masks. We have social distance yes. and we have been tested. We so have been. we're good just to let everybody know about that. <laughs> now on to the virtual raise.
raise the paddle fund to this new kitchen and servery in the Mater Center. Uh, let me tell you how this is going to work. Maureen and I, uh, we're going to invite you to make a donation at a specific dollar amount. And yep. when you see that amount, if you want to go ahead and donate, all you have to do is do one of three ways. Yep. Okay, you'll see the QR code on your screen. Mm -hmm. You can open the camera on your, it says your iPhone. I hope it works with an Android too. <laughs> I think it does. I, I've got one of We've those. We've made it easy no matter what device you're using. Okay, good, perfect. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> and then hold the camera up to the code as if you're taking a picture. Your phone should then pop up to the website link on the top of your screen. Just hit that bar and it'll take you to the giving page and then you can make your gift right there. Another way is to give to the click or click the link that we texted mm -hmm. earlier this evening. You probably got one of those. Yeah. If you didn't, it's because we probably have the wrong number for you. But again, there's three different ways to do it. Lastly, find the email you received earlier today, which includes a link right in the email to also help you to make that donation. And one really cool thing we're doing, we're going to be giving shout outs uh, tonight. So yeah. when you make a gift donation, we'll shout you out. Even if you don't, we're shouting you out because you're part of this community yeah. and we know you care and you're going to give whatever you can give to make this evening a success. So yes, shout outs this evening. Uh, look at the bottom of your screen. We'll be scrolling those names there. So when we see someone and if I see you and I, you're someone I know, I'm definitely going to give you a really special shout out. <laughs> like, hey girl, hey, something like that. <laughs> no, just kidding, just kidding. Uh, listen, if you're also worried that maybe you missed the gift level that you wanted to get in on, don't worry, just jump right in at any time. Mm -hmm. We are not discriminating. Anytime at all you want to jump in, jump in and give whatever you can. Again, as we said, all gifts are welcome during this campaign to make sure our girls get the kitchen and servery that they need and deserve. Uh, this is all part again of the Core Unum One Heart campaign to fund the kitchen and servery. And the best part, as you heard earlier in that video, alumna Betsy Hoy Shivrick, class of 78, and her husband Paul Shivrick, yeah. they are matching all donations tonight to the tune of 500 catch me wow. five hundred thousand dollars i know they they are an amazing couple and so every dollar you gift will be matched uh, dollar for dollar up to wow. five hundred thousand dollars so thank you so much to the shivrick family for what they're doing this evening yeah, that's really incredible. Right, and also I forgot to mention this. So if you donate up to $1,000 or more, you will be recognized with a special plaque in the new servery in the oh. Mater Center, right? So how cool is that? Your gift will live on forever. The girls can always take a look at your name and know that you cared enough to donate this money uh, to this new facility. Yeah, and speaking of the girls, we want to hear from them directly about what the Mater Center, the playground, and the campus quad named Shelter Hill means to them. Take a look. classroom anymore because well when we eat in the classroom we have to pick everything up and it takes a while so we don't so and sometimes the lunch takes a long time and I think in the cafeteria the lunch won't take too long. I'm pretty excited because I also get to see my sister and um, I get to see all the students and all the new students in Stone Ridge because I've always wondered what everyone looks like in Stone Ridge. I'm really excited for the art room. I'm really into theater, so I'm really excited for there to be a new drama space. I'm really excited for the photography. I, I really want to take photography next year if I can. I'm really excited about the new Student Life Center just because we're getting a new theater and I'm really invested into theater and the art program that Stone Ridge has provided us here. So I'm really excited just to get all the new equipment. Back to the MCs! Oh, that is fantastic. Don't you just love our girls? They're yeah. so vested in this school, so passionate about it. Heard a lot about theater. A lot of them yeah, were excited right? about that. Got a lot of budding artists yeah. out here. Uh, maybe some future Oscar, Tony, Emmy winners, right? Let's get it done. The I know. Golden Globes on I'm... our station on <laughs> Sunday night. Okay, well, we Sorry. have sports <laughs> at Fox. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so we're moving ahead, of course, with the gift donations. Before we move any further, we have to shout out a very special couple, Brett and Tiffany Green, who came through in the biggest yeah. way today with a $20,000 gift. It's amazing. $20,000. Brett and Tiffany Green, thank you from the bottom of thank our you. hearts. We really appreciate all that you're doing to make this event a success. With that, I want to invite anyone who'd like to make a gift at the $10,000 level to support the kitchen and servery, the commercial kitchen and servery. Uh, and right now, we actually also want to recognize someone else. Gosh, you guys are so generous. Beth Emerson, class of 92, she kicks off this donation level at $10,000. Thank you so much, Beth. Thank you, Beth. 
All right, so when uh, while we're giving you time to jump in uh, and make your gift donation, let me tell you a little bit about the dining hall in the Mater Center. The dining hall, as you know, is where community and hospitality come together. Mm -hmm. You know, the heart of any home is the kitchen, right? Absolutely. And that's really the case here with this yeah. uh, dining hall. This is where the girls are going to be able to gather together to uh, fellowship, to worship. In fact, they're going to have a place now where we can congregate and actually have mass, yeah. which has been something that we haven't been able to do as a community here at Stone Ridge for so long. And so part of this new facility will have a thousand seat uh, area where we can have mass and we can finally invite our parents, our friends, alumni to come back and be part of our greater community. That's something that will be really special. I know something uh, that you all will be happy to take part in when that does come to yeah, fruition. For sure. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I also just want to make this plug. Look at this on the screen right now. We have tons of people oh, donating. My heart is bursting with that pride. Is great. Oh my goodness! Uh, let's see, John and Mitchell Lindstrom, uh, the Fong family. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Sarah uh, Filkins, Chris and Yvette <laughs> Bolin, the Sanders family, oh the gosh. Kilner family. Uh, yeah, and it just keeps going. Uh, we love that. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, this can't be. I'm looking behind the camera now. We started at ten thousand. This is not all ten thousand dollar people. I, I, okay, I just wanted to make sure. If it wanted, is, because if goodness. it was, I got super excited. <laughs> I know. I We're gonna reach that goal in one, <laughs> like what, ten minute time? Uh, listen, I, we have a couple of anonymous people. We get it. Mm -hmm. We get it. Thank you don't you. need the praise. We thank you so much for what yeah. you're doing. Uh, but right now, again, if you want to donate at any level, jump in at any time. We don't have to wait for your level to be called out. Just yeah. jump right in. Uh, we've given you lots of ways to do that. The easiest way for me is they texted that code to my right. iPhone and all you do is click on there it's easy peasy uh, just go on there and donate and uh, look we would be happy to have whatever you're willing to donate for sure and, and I, got, I was able to get that I got that right around 5 5 30 <laughs> so that's probably when you got it mm -hmm. as well so go through your text that's the easiest way to do it mm -hmm. click on that button you'll be able to do that next level is the uh, $5,000 level yeah $5,000 level so if you'd like to make a donation at this level please do so right now again very easy just uh, go online there and uh, click on the button put down that plate of paella put down that yeah. sangria for just one second uh, and help us uh, make this uh, fundraising goal a reality Kelly Falcone thank you so much Evelyn Gallego Thank you so much. If I mispronounce your name, please exactly. charge it to my head, not my heart. Uh, I'm trying to read a prompter and my old eyes just are not letting Wait, me. Wait, I've got an easy one. Uh, <laughs> Linda and Tom Lynch. Okay. Let's, do the, let's do the easy one. Nicely done. There Meredith Moore also, Jennifer and William Moreau, uh, Kathleen and Steve Mullery. Thank you guys very much for, for donating. Lynn and uh, Derek uh, Perry, yep. Karen Schultz. This is really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, all these people are, uh, are donating, continuing to donate yeah. so that all of our daughters have a, a great place to go. I can't wait. I know I'm so excited uh -huh. about this for my daughter yeah. coming in. She just started last fall. Uh, I'm so excited to be able, hopefully in person mm -hmm. for the next school year, yeah, but yeah. to be able to have something like that is really going to be something special. It's, it is special. This is, as you know, wonderful community. We're glad you're part of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, as I said, it's just something that makes you feel good that we can work together as a right. unit to make these things happen. Um, I should also point out that uh, the paella, apparently they sold out of it. Okay. So some of you weren't even able to get it. That shows you the commitment uh, that this community has uh, right. to this event. So thank you for all of you who purchased. If you weren't able to uh, get a paella, maybe uh, you can still get some from uh, Jose Andres and his group. I know for sure they make amazing paella at Haleo. Yes. So to partake of that. Okay, uh, next level right now, we want to move to the $2,500 level. Mm -hmm. $2,500, if this is the level that you would like to donate, again, please go online and click that button. We'll be glad to take your donation as you make a difference in this community. Let's read some more of those there. You got uh, Carmen mm -hmm. and, and Tobin Romero, uh, the Conley family. We got Sarah Kunkel Filkins. I think mm -hmm. I already said that one. Uh, and good. Okay, good. We are, we are seeing some more of those names continue to pop up here uh, as we move on throughout the rest of the night tonight. Indeed. So we hope you guys are having at least a little bit of a good time. The food right here that we're making, we're not making anything, <laughs> actually. Jose did all of that, but we he wanted did. to show you. I mean, this is what they use right now. Mm -hmm. This is the burner that they use. And again, they are so excited, the Sage Group, so excited to be able to have commercial building and as we right. mentioned before, the dishwashing uh, facilities ah, there. Yes. I mean, right now they are all done by hand, by hand every single day, and it's going to be great to get that new uh, dishwasher in here as well. Indeed, and I understand also in the new center, they've got a massive refrigeration unit, something like 300 square foot of the refrigerator and also the freezer. Wow. So they're really going to be able to keep all of the food that our girls are eating fresh daily in that refrigerator, something that they haven't been able to have, at least a refrigerator yeah. that size before, to accommodate um, all the food that will be coming, nutritious, delicious, and definitely mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, now able to be preserved in the way that it should be. So thank you again. This center is going to be amazing. Yeah, you and I came in here the other day for a little walkthrough mm -hmm. and we were literally amazed. We were. At we how were. small this is. And then when you consider mm -hmm. the fact that we're feeding 900 people out of this very tiny kitchen, mm -hmm. it's almost like, how does that get done? So, uh, so kudos to the Sage Group who really does a great job yeah. to, uh, to get that out. And they're very excited they, about the new kitchen I'm as well. I'm telling you. And you're going to see them. The kids, if you're watching kids, you're going to be able to see them preparing your food and getting that out there. Indeed. Listen, I, I also, I've done some of the lunches before and, and I've had some of the food. So even though the kitchen has been tight quarters, they do put out amazing food. Yeah. So it's imagine how much better it's going to be in taste right. in this new facility. My goodness, maybe we can get uh, Chef Jose Andres to come and uh, Cook that would be meals. nice to have him, he's like, uh, yeah, he's have him doing that up. as well. I know. Well, he, like, he doesn't have enough on his plate, right? <laughs> okay, let's open it up to the $1,000 level right now. If you'd like to make mm -hmm. a donation at the $1,000 level right now is your opportunity or any level. Again, uh, this is your opportunity. We yeah. keep having the names come through. Uh, so please uh, go ahead if you have not done so. This is your opportunity, $1,000 level or whatever you can get. And once again, you see that QR code. It's right mm -hmm. there, right over there by uh, Maureen right there. There's the QR code. All you have to do is, is screenshot that. Yeah. Actually, put your camera up. It's just, we're all used to this now because we go to restaurants. <laughs> exactly. Due to COVID, you got to check on the, on uh -huh. the menu. That's how you do it. Just go to the bottom of your screen right there. Click on that. Uh, you'll be able to get that QR code, which will take you right to the donation yeah. style. And I'm proud to announce this. So far, we have raised almost, uh, I think, $47,000, but I know we could do better. We could do yeah. better. We can hitch those benchmarks, 50,000, 60,000, mm -hmm. 100,000, dare I say. Uh, I know, I know, but I know this community, you guys, when we task Gotta you with something, it. you do it. And we're so very proud of that. So again, we're almost there, $47,000. Let's get over that hump. If you want to donate at the $1,000 level, this is your opportunity right now. Uh, we love that uh, you're taking part of this and uh, we just want you to know that we really are grateful for all that you can do. In addition, Doug, I forgot yep. to add this. So this is not all. Later on tonight, we're going to be drawing uh, a winning tickets for the cocktail flight for four at Jose Andres restaurant Bar Mini. Yeah, right? we're really excited about that. The, the names <laughs> are actually right there. So this actually does have a purpose, mm -hmm. and it's for those names. And, and remember, alumna Betsy Hoy Shiv uh, Shiverick from 78 mm -hmm. and her husband, Paul, they're going to be matching all the gifts up to $500,000. So please continue to do that. Later tonight, as we said, we are going to do this uh, mm -hmm. this drawing in about the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So uh, let, now let's talk a little bit more about the kitchen the survey. This this part was really cool. All right, the survey will include uh, two entries with two hotlines: one for lower school students mm -hmm. and one for middle and upper school students to go through, as well as faculty and staff. In addition, the hotline will include a dedicated pizza station. Uh, yeah, I think yep. we're all excited about that. <laughs> uh, who doesn't love yep. pizza? And, and then, of course, the survey will also have a beverage station, uh -huh. so that way the girls can go up and get their own beverage when, whenever they want them. That, that'll be located in the dining hall mm -hmm. uh, against the survey wall. There also is going to be a soup and a salad bar station, right. a deli station, <laughs> all of the survey. This sounds like my college. I, I was going to say, it sounds like a college I mean, uh, cafeteria, right? My goodness right? gracious. All the survey <laughs> stations will include glass protectors and, of course, food shields. Uh, the kitchen and the survey are connected, which will allow for the ease mm -hmm. that you and the efficiency uh, and this open floor plan also provides an opportunity for the girls to interact with right. the with the sage chefs and the staff and this was something that was so so important right. when they were developing this indeed and you saw the tour earlier it's a yeah. beautiful facility lots of light uh, so lots of ways to really just kind of get on the elements and feel it and be part of the process and so uh, we're not c cutting any short any corners here this right. is going to be a phenomenal uh, facility here okay right now we are up to the $500 level if you'd like to make a donation at this level $500 this is your opportunity now the QR code there on your screen yep. again we thank all of our family members and our friends who have donated this evening. Uh, let's see, Carolyn and Patrick Shannon, Sarah and Peter Smith, Leslie Spiegel, Dana and Michael Stanbaugh. Thank you all so much for your, J Jason Tucker, I'm taking the easy names now. Yeah, right, right, that's okay. <laughs> uh, Julie and Dan Went, mm -hmm. the Yang family, Elise Green, Elizabeth Ruff, mm -hmm. uh, Kit Nichols. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, Allison Cryer Donardo. Thank you very much yes. for, the, uh, for the donations that we continue to see there. Indeed. So now we want to uh, move it to the $250 level. If this is what you can give, we thank you for your generous donation, $250. And uh, we want to stop at this benchmark mm -hmm. to really talk about something that is amazing. I've got to reach down here to yeah. grab it because this is it. I'm going to put it here so maybe you can see. So in this bag is something very special. I'd like to share with you a little story about the uh, fifth and sixth graders here, yep. Stone Ridge, Mrs. Winkler's class. They're really excited about the event tonight and Chef Jose Andres. They've been studying about people who uh, 
give to give uh, through faith. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Jose Andres really defines that through his work with the World Central Kitchen. Which is incredible. Right. And so these girls wanted to do something special to show how their faith really can be put into action. And what they did was uh, look within their own homes. What can we do to uh, raise some money? And within their homes, uh, these girls came together and were able to raise two hundred and fifty dollars, yes. which is what they're nice giving job, to girls. the World Central Kitchen. They didn't have to do it, but because this is a community that cares, this is one of the pillars of Sacred Heart. And so these girls came together and this is what they're able to give World Central Kitchen. And we applaud you, yes. fifth and sixth graders, for leading Nicely the way done. and being amazing girls that you always have been. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and of course, World Central Kitchen is doing mm -hmm. so much right now for COVID world. It's right. been doing so much for the disasters that we've seen all across the all across the world, the hurricanes, mm -hmm. the earthquakes. I mean, going to places that so many people can't get to, can't have right. access to and bringing food to thousands mm -hmm. and thousands of people uh, through their gift. I uh, want to talk to you. This was we keep talking about the dishwasher station, right? Uh, this will include <laughs> and, and this is I was dear say, to my are heart. You having flashbacks of I, I, am, I worked at Pizza Hut for okay. three years and I had to do the dishes by hand. We did not have this, so I'm excited. The dishwasher station, which will include a U-shaped automated tray system to collect the dishes in an efficient oh, that's manner. Cool. Yeah, the ventless dishwasher, get that, okay. is built using new technology in the food industry where steam from the system creates hot water to wash the dishes. So there you go. So if you're talking about safety and sanitation, there you go, because yep. uh, this is a new mode that they're going into. So these girls are going to be very well taken care of uh, with the safe and sanitized facility, dishwashing of mechanism. So glad to see that happening. Mm -hmm. So $250 is the level we left off at. Again, anything you can donate, th donate this evening, we will be glad to have. We thank each and every one of you for what yeah. you've given so far and what I know you will give in the future. And let's go ahead and go down to the $100 level. We're mm -hmm. going to continue to get any level that you want to give to. If you missed your level earlier, you missed mm -hmm. the $500 level. You missed the $250 level. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a level. You want to you want to do $251. Mm -hmm. I think there you, you could probably do that too. But right now we're at the $100 level. So give what you can. If you can, that'd be great. Uh, once again, the Servery, the uh, Mater mm -hmm. Center, hopefully hopefully opening uh, in July and right. opening to mm -hmm. the kids in August when we start back here. Hopefully we're all on campus at the same time. Right. That'll be great. I keep looking down because I'm looking at this bowl and I told mm -hmm. you that we had some uh, winning tickets that we were going to pick because this is yep. for a cocktail flight for four at Jose Andres restaurant bar mini. As you might know, so bar mini is a cocktail lab that is adjacent to his restaurant mini bar and it really celebrates classic cocktails. They have well over 100 libations and so uh, they are doing some amazing things. They bring bartenders and others together to mix drinks and come up with new recipes, almost like alchemists, right? Yeah. And they're doing really innovative things uh, that Jose, this was his brainchild, and so they're doing that at uh, the mini bar there at Bar Mini. So we want to give away a ticket uh, for this amazing adventure. I want so you to mix this up. You want, okay, hang yeah, on. Yeah, you do the mixing, Chef and, I, and I, will, uh, okay. I will, I will, I will. I'm gonna stir pick, it up. Pick the name, this is important stuff right here. So you give us a drum roll at home. Drum roll, please. Oh, maybe. There you go, see you there got you go. this. All right, all right. <laughs> Let me see, here's, and here's the And the winner the, is. Lisa Capuano. All Lisa right. Capuano, congratulations. You, my friend, have scored four tickets yes. to Bar Mini. That is amazing. I mean, a special thanks to Jose Andres and the entertainment and the uh, for the delicious meal. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to go down there, and again, you can bring anybody you <laughs> yep. want. Now, some people says in here it says, and family. Uh, Lisa, you only have your name on there, so you can invite one two and one other person We're just, We're just that can hang out with all four. I mean, all four of us together. I mean, that's going to be a good time. Come I'm on. Excited. Can't, does it get any better than this? I'm Come excited. on. <laughs> I'm excited too. Thank you, Doug. So, uh, and for those of you who didn't win, listen, you can always go down and enjoy the libations there. We'd yeah. be glad to have you uh, support our fellow SR Dads uh, businesses because, as you know, he definitely is one who doesn't just take, he actually gives back in a major yeah. way. So, thank you to all of you who uh, participated in this raffle this evening. Yeah, and we want to thank everybody, and especially uh, Jose Andres and his mm -hmm. entertainment center, as well as uh, Total Wine for yep. their generous donation of the sangria, and of course, Betsy and Paul Shiverick for the generous gift mm -hmm. that is going to be matching once again up to $500,000. And just because we may be ending the program here in a couple of minutes doesn't mean you can't donate yeah. uh, as we continue through the next couple of days. So finally, we want to thank all of you for making this a success right here at Stone Ridge. Thank you very much. And we are going to pass this back to Catherine Carrolls for a few closing words. Thank you. And I think Catherine is coming here to join the party. Oh, there she is.
My guys, sneak attack from the back. <laughs> we appreciate it. We take you anywhere we can have I'm you. good. I'm standing back uh, COVID style. That's but right. I'll give you one of these. One of these and right, one of those. There you, go. you came but from the big room in the back right here. The I very, did the, the, very huge, yeah. the huge yeah. room in the back. But I wanted to thank you both for your incredible work tonight hosting this and to thank our community for being here with us for your incredible generosity. Jose, you are amazing, such an inspirational yeah. person. Um, but really, everyone coming together to support this incredible project is what's gonna get us over the finish line. So thank you for your generosity tonight. Um, thanks for being with us. Thanks to all of our uh, chairs who came and, and spoke, and Melissa Prather, who gave <laughs> us that amazing yes, tour of yes. the Mater Center, is our Director of Institutional Advancement who put this whole thing together. Mm -hmm. So Great job. thank you to the Stone Ridge team. Mm -hmm. And before we sign off, I wanna say, you know, in this year of COVID, our faculty have never worked this hard. <laughs> yeah. So let's keep our faculty in our hearts um, tonight and, and throughout the year. The, the work to educate our girls is such important work and they love doing it, but it sure is difficult is. in these times. Yeah. So let's continue to support each other um, and go Gators. Thank you for your leadership. You're Thank welcome. You Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Right. Good night, everybody. Honor and a pleasure. Pleasure with you, too. And uh, get, you know, go blue. Uh, go, go. <laughs> All right. Do come out. Do come out. Have a great one, everyone. Thank Bye, you. Bye, guys. God bless. <laughs>